Welcome to Computer Science 320, 2014 Winter 2, Midterm 2 Practice Problem Screencasts. We are working on problem 2.3, and I'm going to have to scroll the screen a little bit here, but remember, we're just going to keep referring back to this stuff up here. And also remember, sorry about this, I had n to the log base b of a in this case, and n to the log base b of a in this case, and n to the log base b of a in this case, and there should have just been log base b of a. Sorry, we really are comparing. Uh, powers of n to each other, but we're doing it by directly comparing the exponents. So, sorry about that. Uh, so, in this case, we've got t of n is equal to 30t of the floor of n over 2 plus n to the n, and the question is, do we have something that is of the form we can apply the master theorem to? Well, is this a, yeah, here's the a, times t of n over b, here's the b, plus uh, f of n, here's the f of n, Yes, it is. Now, you might be looking at n to the n and saying, well, hold on, n to the n, that's not n cubed, it's not n to the fourth, it's not even polynomial, it's, it's much slower than polynomial. So can we really apply the master theorem here? Well, there's nothing stopping us at this point, so let's keep going. If we can't put ourselves into one of the three cases, or we don't meet the regularity condition and we're in the root case, then we'll be in trouble. But it doesn't look, obviously, like there's any big problem. So we, we've got A, we've got B, sorry, this is B, not A. We've got A, we've got B. Uh, the next question we should be asking, just like last time, is what's the log base B of A? That is the log base 2 of 30. Well, I don't know offhand what the log base 2 of 30 is, but I do know what the log base 2 of 32 is. So I can say log base 2 of 32, well, 32 is 2 to the fifth, so that would be 5. So the log base 2 of 30 is something larger than 4, and it's something smaller than 5, and it's pretty close to 5. Hopefully that'll be enough. Okay, now we need to ask how f of n, n to the n, compares to n to the 4 point something. Uh, and, and the answer is n to the n is huge. It is, it is absolutely going to dominate n to the 4 point something. It's going to dominate n to the 5. It's going to dominate n to the 6. It's going to dominate any polynomial. So what we know is that n to the n is in big omega of, well, what we need is n to the c. So let's say n to the c, 4c is equal to 5. It's also in big omega of n to the c for any constant c. But what we care about is a c that is larger than log base b of a. And sure enough, this is a c that's larger than log base b of a. So we are following into the, falling into this third case, and that is the one with the regularity condition. So let's jump back up and look up the regularity condition. So the regularity condition tells us that a times f of n over b has to be less than or equal to k times f of n for some constant k less than 1 and sufficiently large n. So I'm just going to copy that. Uh, what does sufficiently large n mean, by the way? Uh, same thing as usual. It basically means for all n greater than n naught, where n naught is some constant. Okay, so what is a? a is 30. So 30 times f of n over 2 has to be less than or equal to k f of n for k less than or equal to 1. Well, f of n over 2, that's, that's n over 2 to the n over 2. That is tremendously smaller than n to the n. Um, so 30 times, we've got 30 times n over 2 raised to the n over 2. And we need that to be less than or equal to. So we're asking, is it less than or equal to for some constant k times n to the n, where k is less than 1? Uh, and the answer is absolutely. Uh, it is hugely smaller. So for example, for sufficiently large n, uh, we could say that this is less than or equal to n over 2 to the n over 2 is less than or equal to n minus 1 to the n. Uh, sorry, it'll be more convenient for us to say n to the n minus 1. That's true, but this is more convenient. n to the n minus 1 for sufficiently large n. So let's say for n greater than or equal to 2, because at that point n over 2 is already down to 1. Uh, so that, that'll give us the minus 1 here. So for n greater than or equal to 2, that'll be true. And what is this? Well, this is a factor of n smaller than n to the n, which means if k is equal to 1 half, since n is greater than or equal to 2, then we'll be all set. This will work. So k 
equal to one half, and this proves it. But in, in fact, this function grows so quickly that this regularity condition is easily true. That's just an example that shows that it's true. So we're in the root case. The regularity condition holds, which means this is in fact the root case. And we don't need to go any further than that, but we can certainly get a theta bound on this. It's not very hard. In the root case, uh, t of n is an element of theta of f of n because it's the root that dominates. And at the root, we spend f of n time, so that's theta of n to the n. Okay, so it doesn't matter that we've got 30 subproblems, each half as large. We are spending a huge amount of work at the root, and that turns out to dominate the work in the rest of the tree. Now, in general, it's not necessarily the case that the root is little omega of the work in the rest of the tree. But in the root case, the work at the root is at least as large as omega of the work in the rest of the tree. And in that case, when we add them together, we end up with just the work at the root asymptotically.